Yeah. All right, yeah. so this is the uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's this is the rocket mass heater being built inside the uh, straw bale. So, Farrell, tell us about what you got going here. Speak up because all the noise. So, we got a little uh, I guess it's called an L chamber as opposed to the J, the J tube. I, I prefer the L to the J because. I, I don't know, I think it's a little bit user friendly. Easier to start a fire in for people who aren't, who aren't familiar with these stoves. Not to say I don't like J tubes completely, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so just kind of testing out the burner without catching the roof on fire <laughs> and uh, yeah mainly checking to see how well it draws with this choke it's got a little choke in the back oh I you see can yeah see I think that's like one of the greatest innovations in rocket stoves is it just makes it draw so well yeah um here to Peter Bandenberg Yes. Yeah, he has. A, he has also has like a secondary air intake, like a metal tube that runs under and Ooh, comes yeah, up in there. The air, the yeah. Is a good touch. What are you doing for the heat riser? We're gonna use this as the as the inner form, you know, the gal the galvanized pipe, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna do uh, vermiculite and, and cob around it with some of that uh, that fire blanket or. Refractory blanket that stuff. Refractory yeah. blanket. Which I've never used before in a rocket stove. Should be fun. Mm -hmm. And then we'll wrap it in hardware cloth. Yeah, it should allow you to make your vermiculite layer much thinner. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, and this should just burn out. It'll probably burn out. Okay. And then you're, this is your bench going around here. Yeah. And you're gonna pop bench. out the wall. The vermiculite insulation's already under it. Up the, the cob. Mm -hmm. Cool. Awesome. Thanks. I'll be back to check on it when it's further along. So the uh, building's coming along. We've got some windows installed here. Uh, we've got our drip edge on a roof. We're working on getting these bucks leveled out to install the other windows. Try to get the doors on too. And get all this, uh, get the envelope all sealed up. So we can start cobbing on the inside and get it nice and warm in there. Hi everyone, I'm over here at the schoolhouse where we're going to be building our, uh, our rack mass heater. Um, this is the building it's going to be in. got to be careful filming, I don't want to film the children. But um, this is our base for our heat riser here. Um, we're going to try to put it on this pallet so eventually it can be moved if it needs to be moved. Um, and to protect from the intense heat inside the burn tunnel there, um, we've got this, it's called permabase board. It's basically um, perlite impregnated with concrete, um, kind of backer for uh, like tile work and stuff like that. But we're gonna, we're putting these strips down here so we can put another layer of it on top and have an air gap um, underneath that. And then on top of that layer is gonna go two inches of perlite clay and then the fire brick on top of that for the base of the heat riser. And we've also got some insulated fire brick to put underneath the hottest part of the burn tunnel. Um, just extra layers of protection just to keep the heat away from the pallet. Um, just so that this might be able to be moved eventually if it needs to be. But we're real excited to get started on this finally. Um, Evan's going to be working on this today and i got to go run around and try to find some other materials for us. But it's starting. Uh, good morning, people. Um, another day out here at Standing Rock um, in front of the schoolhouse, the Straw Bale Schoolhouse. Uh, there's a lot going on here. They've got a lot done in the last few days. Most importantly, this big metal roof up here on top, um, as well as windows, um, some of the windows and doors. And also, they've got the rock mass heater. And here is continuing to be built. I'll get the bench going. This is a the heat riser, which is made out of cob and vermiculite. It's one of those styles. Um, it's going to be like an L tube. Uh, it's 
this kind of back box thing here. So they got that built. And uh, they're getting to work on the cob and uh, the ceiling in here, closing in these gable ends. But, uh, we ain't ever going to go over to the trading camp today and work on our rock mass here over there. Yesterday I got the base done and we're going to mix up the perlite clay mix today to start the heat riser. So I'll head over there. All right, hi guys. Oh, we're back over here at the schoolhouse at Ochetti. I'm um, getting started on the heater. Um, first off, we got Evan over here. He's burning off the paint on this manifold, so he needed to get done before we can install it. So someone was gracious enough to give us this little torch. Um, tried to find a fire to put it on, but there's no big fires going on right now, and I didn't want to smoke a bunch of people out, so um, we got that going anyway. So that will allow us to put that over our manifold once we get that built. Um, what we got going on in here is our platform with the Dura Rock, and we've traced out the pattern of the uh, the heater on there. And Evan put all these little screws in here, and what these will do is lock in our layer of perlite and clay onto this board so it doesn't all shift around and it gets moved. Um, so now. I've mixed up a bucket of slip over here, and we've got our bag of perlite, and we're going to mix that up as soon as Caroline comes back with some dust masks, so let's save her, and we're going to make our perlite clay insulation layer over this board, and then hopefully set in the first course of bricks today. Alright, so we mixed up our uh, clay stabilized perlite, it seems to be a good consistency, um, it should be able to form into a little ball, and it should hold that shape, and then when you Press it between your fingers, it should explode. So, seems like it's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and start laying it out on the, uh, the board over there to make our insulator layer. Alright, so I've laid out this first course of bricks over our uh, perlite layer. Uh -huh. And uh, I got them all leveled out um, every, every which way. And so the next step is to take some sand and we're going to pour it into these cracks and brush it in. That will stabilize everything. Alright, so I've got the uh, sand in between these bricks to stabilize it. And then we've also mixed up a little more perlite clay to uh, surround these bricks with to kind of stabilize them. Um, I'm going to leave like a little kind of one inch um, ledge right here to kind of cap this off with a layer of... Um, cob plaster to kind of encase all of this perlite clay and hold it together, keep it a little stronger. Pretty happy this is going. I'm trying to get some more good clay to use this slip in between the uh, the bricks for the heat riser and J-tube, so I'm going to go source that out. Alright, so I'm ready to uh, start laying the second course of bricks and building the firebox. Uh, we've got a bit of water here in the river to uh, dip our bricks in so that the slip will, will stick. And then we mixed up a nice batch of slip here. I found some other clay that seems to work a lot better. And then we got our fire bricks. So I've got the dimensions marked out here um, on our pad and I'm gonna start laying the bricks. Alright, so I just finished the, uh, the heat riser, um, stacking it up with the clay slip, seems to have worked. So um, I think we'll let this dry overnight and then test fire it in the morning. And then we can get work on cobbing up everything in the, uh, the manifold here. Yeah, lots of work today. Out well. Hi guys, so I've been working on the uh, rock mass heater core pretty much all day here. Um, getting pretty good progress done. 
I mixed up a bunch of the uh, perlite and clay to insulate the whole firebox. Um, and then we also wrapped up the heat riser with this insulated blanket and the, uh, the quarter inch hardware cloth to protect that while it's being cleaned and hold it all on there. Uh, not as tight as I'd like it, but that's what I could get. And then I spent a lot of time messing with this, uh, getting this manifold to go. I ended up just having to cut a hole out of this uh, T-pipe here and just kind of cob it in place. I don't have any sheet metal screws, but it seems pretty pretty tight. I'm going to cob all around it. I think next I'm going to mix up some more of this perlite um, to insulate the rest around the bottom of this barrel here. And uh, create kind of a heat shield between this and the bench, which I decided today because um, the question is whether or not this camp needs to be moved in the next uh, month because of the Army Corps of Engineers. Um, we're going to do a pebble style, so we're going to get a box built, we're going to get some um, 3 8 inch pea gravel and fill up the box. So I want to protect the box from this this hot part of the stove here. So um, I'm going to mix up some more pearl, perlite and clay and then uh, keep working. Alright, good morning, or afternoon, whatever it is. <laughs> um, as you can see, the situation here in camp has changed. We've got about 4 to 6 inches of snow on the ground since it started raining yesterday um, and I still need to get the rest of the cob over this perlite here because um, it's really fragile and needs to be protected so thankfully I was able to mix a bunch of cob today in the uh, straw bale schoolhouse over there at Sacred Stone where we have a heater there's a wood stove and materials so I mixed up a few buckets of cob should be enough to finish this um, but when we got over here uh, we had to put up these tarps um, just to keep this thing out of the snow. The wind's blowing from that direction, so this is a really great wind blocker. And eventually these tarps will cover the whole thing and uh, create a nice space. Um, they're also ordering a canvas to put on the inside of this, so it would be um, a nice double layer, hopefully. So I'm just going to focus on getting this thing cobbed up and test fired to make sure it's working. All right, good, successful day. I got the uh, rest of the shell of this thing. Um, cobbed up. Um, yeah, so I got all that perlite covered and everything well supported over here. And I've test fired it, so it's going right now. Got the good sideways flame. Good steam coming out of here. Doesn't smell like smoke, it's just steam, so that's good complete combustion in there. It was really difficult to get this thing started because it was wet and cold. And uh, it worked a lot better when I put this chimney on here and plugged up that hole, of course. So it's got a better chimney to draft through at the end. So, um, But once the bench is built on here, uh, the chimney is actually going to be coming out of this, which is quite close to that barrel. So that will give it a second um, heat pump, which will pump the exhaust right out the roof. So I'm pretty happy how this went today. I'm going to clean my tools and try to get back over to Sacred Stone before it uh, all freezes up. So the uh, blizzard continues outside. It's well below freezing out there, but still inside the uh, Straw Bell Schoolhouse we're still able to work and even do cob. It's warm enough in here. Um, we've had a whole crew of people working on uh, plastering up these walls. Uh, There's a work party last night. It was really cool. Lots of people working well into the night. And uh, getting a lot of progress done. Almost half this building in two days, which is huge. Um, the guy who was building this rock and mass heater, he became ill and he had to leave. So I've been tasked with finishing it. Um, it was pretty much already built as far as the heat riser and firebox and, and uh, bench ducting is done. But I just got this barrel on there to test fire it, and I test fired it this morning. It's kind of a sort of a batch box L tube. I think, and um, it goes out the wall out there in the corner. So I was a little skeptical as how it would work, but we fired it up and it, and it seems to draw pretty well. Um, and so now I'm actually just building up on the bench. I'm doing some cob here to make a nice lip out on the bench so that you can stand up easier. Your heels can get behind you. And just finish cobbing this out and uh, fire it a bunch so we can dry it off and, and get some of that heat. 
Um, when I did fire it up, that barrel was radiating a bunch of heat. Um, way better than this wood stove we got, so. Um, yeah, this is really cool to see everybody come together and uh, work on this even in the middle of a snowstorm.